and welcome back to Canva Bestie. Today we're going to talk about tables in Canva. So let's get started. Okay, so first you want to click create a design which is up in the left hand corner. So go ahead and click that. I'm going to select presentation as my canvas size, but you can click any size you want. Tables fit in every single design on Canva. So once your canvas opens, what you want to do is go over to elements here on your left hand side. Then you're going to search table, press enter, and then your tables will show up at the very top. So you're going to click see all here, and then you can see all the tables that are available on Canva. Keep in mind, you can customize these, change the color, change the transparency, border, no border, whatever. We're going to get all into that in the next part. Okay, let's explore some of the customization options you have with the tables. So we're gonna put a table here on the canvas. So one of the really cool features about the tables in Canva is that you can drag the table around and make it different thicknesses and things like that, which is I, th I think is pretty cool. When you select your table here, you're gonna notice that there is three black dots at the top and then there's three back black dots on the left-hand side. These are little submenus. Um, the top one, you can do things like delete the whole table, you can merge the cells, you can add a column here, and you can also delete columns, like so. On the left-hand side menu here, you can add a row, you can delete a row, or you can do other things. You can move your rows up and down, you can size your columns equally, you can size your row to your content, and you can also size your columns to your content. Alternatively, if you want to manually size your table, you can also do that. So you're going to click on your table and when you hover over the line of your table, it's going to give you this little uh, multi-way arrow. So you want to click and you can drag up so you can manually change the size of your columns and your rows, which is a super cool feature. Actually, a lot of the Canva design aspects are drag and drop, which I think is great. and it, super helpful to people who are new to the app. So as you can see, Canva already comes with pre-colored tables, but in case there's a color there that you don't like or a style that you don't like, I'm gonna show you how you can customize just the basic table. So I've got the basic table here on my canvas. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a column and I'm going to also add a row here just to make the table a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Change the background of some of your cells or rows, for example, the titles at the top here. You just have to click it and then you click this little color menu here, which will bring you this color menu. And under here, you can, you'll can you have your brand colors or whatever colors you have saved. Uh, I'm just gonna change it to blue. You can also change the transparency so you can make it lighter, so you can make like a light highlight or whatever. And you can also do multiple cells at once just by clicking and holding shift or command if you're on a Mac and dragging. And then you can also make those that color. You can also adjust your line thickness and your border thickness just by clicking it and clicking this border menu here. So you can change the color of your border. So I can, I'm gonna make it pink, I can make it pink. You can also change the weight of the border. So you can make it thick, you can make it thin dot it, not dot it, really the customization options are endless. So that's the gist of tables with Canva. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also feel free to share any tips that you have for other users that could help them. That would be amazing. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you can. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.